hello everyone in this video i'm going to create a freestanding bathtub and for that i have selected this bathtub and here you can download its uh, specifications which you can get the dimensions and it will easily help you to create the uh, the, uh, the drawing in the in the revit so here you can see that it has its plan and two side elevations along with the dimensions which can assist us in the modeling process so first of all i have opened the family template file for the plumbing fixture so here you can see that there are uh, two plumbing fixtures uh, templates one is wall based and one is without any constraint so we will select the simple one that is the this plumbing fixture so we have opened this okay so first of all what i need to do i need to import the image in so that i can easily draw it in this file so for that i'm going to snip this image and i will save it on my computer and then i will import this image on the revit file before that just simply use the snipping tool and snip this then save it on your computer after that uh, go to the revit file and from the insert tab uh, in select this import image and close and import this image okay so this is not a scaled image this is not a scaled diagram so first of all we need to adjust the scale of this diagram so that our tub is according to the correct dimensions so it is a 62.75 inches uh, in length so here it seems like this were 13 feet which is absolutely wrong so first of all i have created a line and i am going to just reduce the size of this diagram so that it can align with this so it will take a few trials okay so i think i've successfully adjusted the size okay so after that i will i need to place the center of this tub on the center of this on the center which is basically the joining point of the horizontal and vertical reference planes it will help you place the families in the when you place it in the project so it is always a good option that in the plan view the 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 family is always at the center of the reference planes at the zero zero axis you can say and after that you can I am placing this uh, in the, uh, the elevations in their correct elevations point like in the front and the left and right elevations it will help us in creating the in creating the model of this tub now as this model is uh, comes uh, in only a fixed dimensions and it does in its dimensions does not change so i am not going to create this as a parametric family uh, but i will simply just add a few basic dimensions that is length width and height in this parameter box to just assist me in the drawing process but the family is not going to be a parametric family so changing dimensions from here won't help won't help in altering the dimensions of the top so i am i have added the height the length and the width here and if you want you can skip this part it is not necessary
Now once we have done these basic settings, let's start the modeling of the tab. For that, I am going to select the extrusion command from here and let's draw a simple rectangle and again I like I have said before it should be the tab should be at the 0 0 axis its center should be at the 0 0 axis so for that I am keeping the dimensions equal and I will just assign the parameters from here so now it is exactly at the center the extrusion sketch after that I'm going to okay so the height I'm going to assign this height parameter yes so I have created the basic uh, you can say the basic uh, basic component of this tab and now I am going to create this um, I'm going to delete this extra part which is at the sides of this tab and so it i have i'm going to uh, repeat this exact same process for the uh, on the left elevation as well as this is not a straight triangle a uh, straight rectangular tab it has a diagonal a slight diagonal lines for the sides as it, as it is a narrow base and a and wide at the top so it is like this and we have this okay so yeah we have this box now and we now now we need to create the opening within the center now Revit does not easily create the curves as in 3ds Max, so I do not bother creating those creating those curves, uh, and I do not try, uh, try to waste my time on that. So for that, I'm just going to create a simple base, and for that I have used this swept blend command, and it has two profiles. Whereas you can see that in the sweep, sweep command there is one profile, but before the swept blend there are two. So I am going to create two profiles according to the diagram. According to the diagram of this tab, one is this one. Now we will select the second profile, and then we are going to draw the base of the tab like this. And also we are going to make sure that it has these correct dimensions and it is at the center. Its center is at the 00, zero axis of the Revit, this Revit file. So I'm just going to join the center with the reference lines like this. So just move it using the move command. And now click OK okay so this is a solid white a solid solid diagram but we need to void it so you can simply just change the property of the and then use the cut command and yeah here we have our opening for the tab so we have created this uh, structure of the tab which we can use in the family so let me just um, add a few details so for that first i need to draw the i need to model the drain for the tab so let's go to the front elevation yeah and for that i'm going to use this void revolve command so just simply create a sketch of how this drain is going to be and then we are going to assign the center axis line and we have this opening for the drain now i'm just going to add a few more details i like the drain home um, a few more details for the drain 
for that I have used the revolve command again this time the solid revolve And now I'm just going to create the last detail for this tab, which is this drain overflow. So for that, go to the 3D view and set the reference, uh, set the reference plane to this diagonal surface like this, and just sketch this rectangle at its position. Okay, so once you have uh, sketched this, go to 3D view. As it is a diagonal surface, so we just need to make a little bit more changes here. So yeah, I guess it looks fine now. So click OK and just adjust the depth and like this. Yeah, just use this some or move arrow commands and yeah here we go it, it is looking fine now so yes we have created our basic tab file the tab um, model which we are going to use which i'm going to use in the in the uh, bathroom design and yeah just last thing assign the materials assign the materials so that you can assign the correct materials in your project file so that's all for today i hope you like this video and it was beneficial for you let me know in the comments if you need anything else and yeah have a nice day